It's like the Oklahoma twist. Sometimes you find it and sometimes you miss. The easiest game I ever seen. The Three card is Monty. Find the queen. It's a common sight it's on like the, the streets of any big city. It, it looks easy. You, you just bet your money and you work. watch where the watch red the queen red goes. But if it's so easy, why do you always lose? I won't show you that. Where you say the red card's at? This guy says it. Okay, okay, turn it over. Black, who saw? Oh. No, I said the red card. Why, you oh, wasn't watching good. Wait, let me explain the rules. What? Watch it. Look, this is A, this is B. This is the card you want to see. The, what? It's like, what? It's the, eight, nine, and ten, the woman can bet well as the men. I bet the lady, what? I bet the lady with the pretty brown eyes, you can't tell me where the red card lies. What? You went on the red. What? You lose? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Watch it. You lose on the black, I won't show you that. Where you see the red card? Anybody can play. Turn it. Everybody can't be on the same. Okay, turn it over then. Turn it over then. No, I said the red card. Well, I do it. No, you got. No, I do it again. What? The red card. They said you had the red. Here we go around again. The red card. What? My name is Jeff Robodine. What? From New Orleans. Mr. Bud gave me ten thousand dollars a day to play. If you say you need money, here's where you get it at. Watch the red, not the black. Where you say it's that lady? Okay, no, you gotta put your money up. Put it in my hand and make the bet stand. Wait, what? Wait, watch the red. This card. Three card Monty is uh, not really a game. It's a street hustle, a swindle. It's okay, cleverly so rigged by pros whose marks are the unwary tourist and the gullible native. No, I said the red card. The red. No, the red. Wait a minute, my friend. Wait, I do it around again. No, you, it's your option. It's your option, sir. Watch it. Anybody can play. Any man, child, woman born alive can tell me where the red card lies. Anybody except a blind man, a broke man, or the policeman. You gotta watch. If any police around, let me know. I'll be more than happy to go. Watch the red card. Anybody can play. Watch it. Down with the red, down with the black. That's black and I'm black. Where you say the red card's at? Who saw it? Turn it over, my friend. You gotta... Tonight we're going to meet some of the uh, pros and see how they do it. And uh, a man will uh, show you how that man on the street actually worked. Uh, but first, our guide through this intricate dodge, and it really does require impressive skill, uh, even if it's turned to illegal purposes. And he's a previous guest, the man I'm talking about, a friend of the show, one of the outstanding magicians and card manipulators in the world today. His name is Frank Garcia, and Frank has used his knowledge of the uh, tricks of the trade to expose a good many gambling frauds in his time. He's written a book on Three Card Monty, whose title is a, a very good piece of advice. It's called Don't Bet On It. So if you'll welcome Frank Garcia. Garcia. Um, that man we happen to catch on the street, that, that's the game as it is played in the... Jake, uh, all over the place. That, that's for real. That, yeah. What you just saw was a slice of uh, uh, life in New York City. Mm -hmm. I might add that this is not a game. Uh, it's a swindle. It originally derived from a legitimate game being played about 100 years ago in Mexico. And some keen observer, some cheater, uh, thought uh, by miscalling Three Card Monty for Monty, there was an affiliation, and they certainly badgered a lot of suckers in their time. Uh-huh. But uh, tell, explain that about the Monty part. The Monty, well... And, and, and tell me how much of the game is chance. Uh, none of it is chance, and there's no skill involved. Yeah. Uh, but what does the word Monty mean? I wonder Monty, this, this, was, uh, as I said before, was derived from a Spanish game. Oh, from a Spanish... That comes from the Spanish. And this was legit, uh, yeah. a legitimate game that was yeah. played, uh, uh, designed for royalty, very much like Baccarat, uh -huh. like Chemin de Fer, like... Uh, uh, blackjack as we know it today. Yeah. Uh, the game, of course, is extinct today, but uh, uh, someone came along, as I said before, and uh, toyed around with three cards and put a little sleight of hand together, and he called it Three Card Monty. And uh, my chances of winning are nil, would you say, uh, uh, roughly? I would say, uh, well, there's an old saying, if you bet fast, you can't last. If you bet slow, you gotta go. I mean, that's an axiom, that's a street, that's street talk. That much to cling to in there. Not uh, really. What does the word shill mean, as if I didn't know? Uh, a shill is a, a confederate uh, who's working in concert with the, uh, the operator, mm -hmm. the man who owns the store. Mm -hmm. His little method of operation is a piece of cardboard on top of a cardboard box. There's no overhead, no inventory, mm -hmm. and he's in business. It's, a, it's literally a game for all seasons. Yeah. And, there, and somewhere in each crowd will be a shill who's working with the guy who's... Oh, there might be... Well, generally, what appears to be a fun game is not. It's a yeah. swindle. It's mm -hmm. not a game. 
What appears to be a one-man operation, in fact, is not. It's generally five people. By that, I mean the operator, two shills, a lookout, or possibly two lookouts. They're called the mob, are they? They're, they're called the mob. The whole group? The whole group. Could you show me the basics? Uh, well, how you... here. As I said before, what appears to be so simple, mm -hmm. actually three games are played, uh, three games, three cards are used, two black, two uh, duplicate uh, tens, uh, for reasons that will be explained very shortly, and the lady, mm -hmm. or the Calamity Jane, or uh, the Broad, as it's commonly called. <laughs> and it's predicated on one simple slight called the hype. Mm -hmm. That is, substituting the queen mm -hmm. for a ten. Now, generally, I'll do this in slow motion, Dick, so that our viewing audience might see it. Yeah. He might recount a little doggerel, hi, diddle, diddle, it's the one in the middle. At which time, he will substitute the ten for the queen. Now, the queen is here, but the sucker will believe that the queen is there. Yes, it certainly looked like that. You see? Yeah. It's a, it's a matter of, uh, now you see it, now you don't. What sort of money do you find on these fellows who... <laughs> this is an interesting question. Uh, this is all conjecture on my part, but I've seen as many as 200 games being played simultaneously during the summer. Mm -hmm. I have a friend of mine, well, I have many friends in the police force who are detectives who make uh, uh, citizens' arrests. I also have a friend of mine who is a, uh, an uh, auxiliary policeman uh -huh. who can make an arrest. He, on two accounts, arrested a three-card Monty operator, and how much do you think he found the first time in his pocket? Hundreds? Uh, would you believe forty-four hundred dollars? Uh, that's hundreds, but it's more like thousands, isn't and it? And the other culprit yeah. had a little more than thirty-two hundred dollars in his pocket, cash. Now, you must realize that this was all uh, gained uh, during a play of, say, an hour, an hour and a half. That's good money. Frank, we're going to go see the Phantom. Fine. Right now. Fine, let's go. Okay. Black oh! Vanilla. You lose. <laughs> The man uh, beside me is uh, called the Phantom, and uh, he's done this sort of thing for a living. H how do you get into a trade like this? From being in the street, I guess, Dick. You From saw it happening, and you decided right. to be part of it. And I know that, uh, I think Frank told me that you had been a, a, a watcher, or what do you call it, a, a, a lookout? Look I've been a lookout for a while, up on Fordham Road. I worked for a guy, a Hispanic fella, and he used to drink a lot. And he had me on the lookout, and he paid me money for, for looking at a few bucks, you know. And I never realized how much money that he was making, because I was watching for the police and never realized how much money that he was making. And he was making big bucks, and I was making little bucks. Yeah. So I went home and practiced and practiced and practiced. And he showed you the moves? And he went over, yeah. And so on. He caught him butt. How Mr. much did you make in a day? A few hundred dollars, maybe a thousand, if possible. Really? You can make that much? Yeah. All for about an hour's play. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The action is fast, Dick. Yeah. There's no question about it. He's the controlling factor. He controls uh, this little game. It's, it's not really a game. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic the way he works with his hands. For example, there's one red card, two black ones, duplicates, for mm -hmm. reasons that will be explained and mm -hmm. very shortly. But would you show our viewing audience how you can manipulate the cards to make them appear to be three red cards? Three red cards. In other words, sure. you can make any card appear oh, to be sure. anything you want. Three red. All right. That one's red. Mm -hmm. That one's red, that one's red, that one's red, that one's red, that one's red. red. And yet only one of them is red. Red, yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Now, is he as good as anybody you've seen? He's the best. Mm -hmm. I've seen most of them, and I know a few of them, but he is the best. He is the, uh... The Phantom is the king. He's the king, he's the king. <laughs> uh, and he's very young, too. Mm -hmm. Show them all to be black. All three cards, sure. Black. In other words, no matter what I bet on, you can show it to be right. all the three wrong cards card. will be black. Sort of like magic, it's a misdirection, I say. Yeah. It's not unbelievable. You know, I have, I've studied this myself, if, um, I, and I could make a very decent living, I think, at it. <laughs> um, and our fr mutual friend, Di Vernon, taught the professor. me. professor. Yeah, I was on the show, and he showed me to do, to do that one. So you could say, just keep your eye on the black card. If you've got black here and black here, then you know that has to be the queen. But if you bet on it, you'd be wrong, right? Because that card is black. So if you know the queen's got to be one of these, most people think it's this, but it's not. It's not even that one. It's over here. It, am I doing okay? Yeah. You did very, very well. Now, Believe me, it took me... Somebody says, somebody says, we show something like on the show, it makes, the, makes it look like the guest isn't 
great. It took me months to do this, like learning the violin. Well, to, uh, that, that's when this takes on uh, an art form, when you, mm -hmm. when you make it look so easy. Uh -huh. It's like a good magician yeah. or a, a ballet dancer when they do the leap through the air. They, that's years and years of training, sure. educated fingers. Now, for example, one of the things that they generally play when they have, when they're sure, the, the shill knows that the mark is being set up. He's got a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's burning a hole in his pocket. They generally perform a thing called the lug, yes. bending the queen. Right. putting the ear in. And the way it happens, I will mark up a, a funny game. Okay. I'll be the shill. Okay. You'll be the mark. Okay. I'm I'll working and he'll be the dealer. Okay. Now I'll get into an argument with him. I said, look, I just lost eighty dollars. We're playing with three cards. Why don't we play with two cards? No, this is the three card no, game. No, no, no. I want to play card. with two. That's my way of playing. See now what I've done, I bent the corner and very cleverly uh -huh added that card to it. So you bent the corner of the winning card and he right. pretends not to see it not and not to, right. to notice. Now, we get into a little disagreement. I say, I want to play with two cards. Mm -hmm. All right, and I say, I don't play with two. This is a three-card game. And what's the object? To keep my eye the on queen. the lady? The easiest okay. game i ever seen, you find the red queen. Okay. See? First of all, Frank wins a few times if he's a shield. He'll yeah, turn it right. Over. And I'll turn this and, over. And, and when it convinces the mark to, mm. that he can win now, also. I have my money tied in a little bag around my neck. I just right. finally <laughs> start to reach for it and say, uh-huh. Right. Now, at which point Watch you know that little. you're watching a sure thing. Yeah, because there's the bend right That's in there. That's right. right there. But no mention is made of it. Mm -hmm. It's quite obvious right. that the card is bent. Right. It convinces you more to win. Mm -hmm. Just in case you didn't win when the card wasn't marked, but if you notice that it's marked, you'll bet more. You know what I mean? Sure. So I'll do it around again. I say, the red win, the black clues. Right? And I ask you, did you see it? Right? And I'll do it around again. I say, the red card wins, the black card loses. Right? I say, that's your red card. Right? Mm -hmm. Show you that's black, and don't show you that. And I say, what do you say is that? Now I go, and I say, I'll bet $40 on And I say, wait a minute, you had the last chance. You got to give this fella a chance to bet. Well, wait a minute, I want to play. No, you got to give him a no, chance to well, bet. Well, I'm putting 80 on there. Well, turn it over and be a winner. Because they can see there. I mean, it's obvious that. Oh. <laughs> and there it is. And that's all there is to it. Uh, what are some of the uh, phrases that you hear, um, like, um, oh, uh, Raider, Raider, uh, when a game's being played? And... Oh, Raider, Raider is, is something for the, the Shields to hear, not to bet. They know when to bet and when not to bet. Raider, Raider is sort of like a, a code uh -huh. for the Shields, you know, Frank or whoever's working with me. Yeah. By the way, did we get that on slow-mo before? Okay, now what we're going to do is show that, that move that you did with the corner. And uh, this is a called slow-mo. It's a slow motion machine that we recorded that with as he did it. And I promise you, it's still too good to be true. So there's a queen with the bent corner. Yeah. Okay, he allows me to win. Mm -hmm. Now this is what he does it. There it is. It's already done. You mean it's been done already? Yep. Done already. That's the duplicate. And the bent corner is obviously in the middle. Right. So it's got to be the queen. It's clear here that the corner is bent than it is on your screen. There, there, there it is. Turn it over and be a winner. Yeah. Visions of sugar plum. There you go. Mmm. What is um, what does seaside mean? Seaside is another word for the shield and know where the card is at. Seaside, it sometimes could be the middle, the far. It, it's it's a code for the shield and know. Every group can have his own words, though, so group, it isn't going to do much everybody, good to right. know these. Uh, and a slide. Slide. That's another word. Does that mean get out of the area? Get out of here, because the cops are coming. That's uh, that's the lookout's job. He'll say slide. And now, if he says it very fast, that means disperse quickly because they're very close. If he says slide, mm -hmm. you can take your time but hurry up. At which point, he, the operator, will say, I'll meet you at 48th Street and 5th Avenue at the such and such restaurant or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's the place to meet. Or the OTB or, or the OTB <laughs> or wherever. Yeah, off track betting. This off track betting. People from out of town. Uh, what is it, now, what happens if you're playing? And I just, uh, obviously I have no chance, but I happen to 
think the queen is in the middle and I'm right. And I put down $20 right, right there. It's a chance you could and win. And you know I'm right, and we haven't right. seen the cards right. yet. It's a chance you could win, but I probably wouldn't let you when I had to hype it over. Reverse hype. And show you the black That card. really was the queen when it you... It was the queen for a minute. Do that again. But he substituted the two for the queen. So I say that's the queen right there now. Right, sometimes you can see the queen really there, but then it won't really be there because I show you black. And to prove that, I show you that's black and that's black. Make you think the queen is in the middle. <laughs> see, all... All that's required of this is unflinching audacity. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's as simple as that. It takes a lot of nerve. It certainly does. Uh, Frank, if you, with all your experience, were watching a game in, uh, on the streets of Chicago or wherever in Los Angeles, could you win all you wanted to? I probably could, but I'd have to bring my own mob. <laughs> well, you'd need some people to go right. home with? That's right. Because, uh, first of all, I wouldn't get involved. Yeah. Because it's not a game, it's a swindle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Phantom. Makes the perfect shell. Would Frank be a good shell for you? Beautiful. The best shell is a pretty lady or a white fella, consecutive type, executive type, with a with a suit, tie, you know, more convincing. Uh huh. Someone who looks like they might not be connected. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly a soldier, black. a sailor. A white guy, black, salt and pepper, that's what they call it, salt and pepper. Black and white. Black In other words, a black, op a black operator, black operator and a, and a white, white shell. shell. Mm. What uh, happens again, if I haven't asked you this, uh, suppose, um, now here's the queen, and it really is there, and here are the two. Now, um, I, as a sucker, happen to hit the queen, and I put 20 or $40 there, then can the shell bail you out of that without your having to uh, yeah, let's, trick let, it in any way? Yeah, let's assume you bet $20. I mm -hmm. come up and I'll say, I'll bet. And I bet it on this queen, and you bet is, it on which really queen. is there. Now but I'll you say, didn't turn it over. you didn't turn it over. I right. say, I bet 80. He'll give you back the original 20 and take my... And i take the bigger bet. Oh, and take the bigger bet. 80. One transaction at a time. One man, one bet. So even if I win, I lose because you'll, you'll leap in and he'll well, say, here. I can only pay one guy at a time. That's interesting. There are three objects being used. Yeah. The correct odds would be two to one. Right. To give you even money. Mm -hmm. It's a swindle. Mm -hmm. So you're playing against your own money. Yeah. You can't win. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't talk about signals, but I know in, in, don't, in that book, Don't Bet On It, you, you, have, you talk about how a guy will sometimes have a cigarette, and uh, because even the best chill can't always keep up with where no, he doesn't is. have to. For example, if, if he's working in concert with me and he's smoking a cigarette, if the cigarette is to the right of his lip, that mm -hmm. means the key card, the lady, would be to the left, the uh -huh. exact opposite. If, it's, if the cigarette's on the left, that means that the queen would be to the extreme right. It's in the middle means it's in the middle. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if he takes the cigarette off from his mouth, he would simply depict that the lady is in the center. Mm -hmm. Not everybody uses that, but that's a variety. Yeah, no, that's one method. They have the money method. Explain the money method. The money method is when you have the money in your hand. If you have your money in this hand, it means the bit with... It, tell, it, it, it tells where the card is at all, at all times. If you happen to be holding your money in this in my right I hand... Know. You're signaling that it's at the opposite right. end. And if but it's in that hand, it would be at this. But a person could go wrong with that, having seen the show, because then somebody could, say, could switch that on them. The amazing thing about this game, of course, is uh, that um, it will never die, apparently. No, 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 you that see... Some people, oh, no matter, I mean, there will be plenty of people who see this and say, ah, now I know, and they'll go right out and... Uh, it, it's, uh, it's very much like New Year's, you know, they, they always alert the people who drink, who might imbibe too much in a salate, uh, 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 salubrious uh, libation and uh, <laughs> the person who the commentator is talking to he says well I've had five I'm gonna have one more and then I'm gonna go home mm -hmm. and I'll never be involved in an accident that's a misnomer yeah more than likely so, he will what why did you give up why did I give up? because I'm tired of getting arrested I would say you know what I mean? yeah. mm -hmm. it gets old does it it gets old and and sometimes people won't even bet. Some people look at the game as an entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When I'm on the street throwing the cars, throwing them, some people just stand there and watch, and it bothers me when they just stand there and watch and won't bet. You know what I mean? You want participants. And, I, and it more. seems like I'm waiting for the police to come to arrest me. When the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When I keep throwing it and, and I'm throwing them and nobody bets, it gives the police time enough to take me to jail. You know what I mean? I like to play a fast game and quit. And like he said, it's not a watching game, it's a it's betting game. It's a betting game. game, not a sightseeing game. I think, I think also the danger factor involved, you know, he takes his life in his hands every time he goes out. As I said before, it takes unflinching uh, audacity, but there might be someone 
who is bigger than he is, uh, mm -hmm. or two or three guys, and beat him up and take his money. That's just why they a, have a total reverse. With him. That's why they have lookouts. That's why he wants to get out of it and become an actor. Well, you certainly have all the qualifications. Thank you. And uh, you also could make a very good magician, of course. I mean, you obviously have uh, handle cards, and uh, Frank said you, you really know what you're doing and could be a well, top two. Well, Monty is, is sort of like magic. It's a sleight of hand thing. I mean, what I mean when I say sleight of hand is mm -hmm. the card falls from the top when, you, you know, it, it deceives the eyes. You never know when the card is switched. Like, it's time I won't switch it, and I got a bit here thinking that I did switch it, you know what I mean? Or sometimes I will switch it. You never know when I do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I show him black and black, and I, you know, show, turn it over. So it has way. to be there. You would say the middle card. But it isn't. It's black. See, there's a mm -hmm. lot of psychology used in this, too. A great deal. A great deal. Yeah, and, and also the, the eye is trained to watch a move, and then as soon as it thinks it has it, right. uh, you switch in some way. Yeah. It's really a, a, a beautiful thing to see a, a master of anything work. Um, <laughs> well, he makes it look also so easy. That, it, that in, in great do it, sure. What we've done now is we have some people uh, from the audience. There, there you are. Uh, and I'm just going to call them in, and we're going to play a bit. And you'll get a bird's eye view of it, because one of the cameras will be as it would look to you at, at home if you were standing here in the crowd. Which camera is that, so we can see how that looks? I get Let's to see the money. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> Is it real money? Um, That's real money. Yes. Uh, okay. I made it myself. <laughs> So shall we just play and uh, give the give the folks a bird's eye view and see if they can beat the? Okay, watch. I'll do it around. Okay, anybody can play. I bet the lady with the pretty brown eyes can't tell me where the red car lies. Hey, this is a lady's throat. Well, I'll do it real slow. Watch the red. Don't watch me, lady. Watch. Watch the red. If you find the red, I'll pay you. Now watch the red card you went. Watch. Here's your winning card. The red. You lose on that. I won't show you that. What do you say? I said. You say, here, put up your money and be a winner then. No, I bet you all that in your hand. Oh, Every that. Oh, turn it over then. Put it up and turn it over. Show where it was at. Point uh, right over He there. knew where it was at. See, I'll do it again. What? What? Yeah, I'll give you a chance to get your money back. Like, wait, what? Watch. Watch the red. Double or not. Now watch. Put the twist on it, buddy. You put it. Ready? Watch, watch the red. Ready? Watch. That's the red car, right? That's the black. I won't show you that. What do you say? It's it. Point it. That. He would say here, right? Okay, I'll show you. It could. Okay. He had the red, right? But to convince him that he didn't have the red, I'll flip it over like that and say you lose, my man. But being that you had, I'll pay you, my man. I'll do it again. Watch. <laughs> 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 right. 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 This is the red car, right? Now, mm -hmm. that's black. I don't show that, right? What do you say? It's <laughs> just showing it. Uh, it's, it's over here. Oh, I think I saw it. In All right, here's my money. <laughs> you want this car? Yeah. Turn it over. That's black. Uh. Watch, watch it again, watch, watch, watch. An actual play, Dick, you can't see, you mm -hmm. can't see anything, really. And yet you can go at this speed, which is uh, not, it, it's not the hand being quicker than the eye, it's the deftness of the, the moves, I guess, and, and the psychology and the, go ahead. Okay, watch it around again, okay. I'll do it again, watch. It creeps the crows, it's like a cannonball, anybody can play. Any man, child, woman, born alive can tell me where the red card lies, watch. Anybody except a blind man or broke man. If you're broke, please stand back. Now watch. Watch, watch. watch the red card. Anybody, watch the red. Down with the red, down with the black. That's black. I won't show you that. Who saw it? What do you say, sir? She probably said, what do you say? I, what if I mark that thing? Okay, put it on the market. I'll give you a chance. Right I'll get, uh, here's a cheat. Right. No, I want to give this cheat. He has the card. Wait, what's That's, going on no, here? Here's the red card. Uh, mark that. He marked the red mark, card so you can't miss it. No, oh, no way. He put a piece of paper Yes, he put a little piece of paper on the back. 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 Bigger than it would normally okay, be. Okay, but now the, now the queen is marked with a little okay. piece of paper. That's red, right? We made it bigger so you can see it. Can they see that little piece of paper? Yeah, right there. Turn it over. Turn it over. Hi, guys. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> well, I want to get in on this, too. Yeah. Wait a minute. i got to watch. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm, uh, I saw him stick that on there. Turn it over. I know it's nothing. It has to be the red. It right? has to be. Because, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm, yeah. Now you won it fair and square. <laughs> Slow, anyway. <laughs> Do you think I could possibly see that again? Uh, that was just... You mean do it around thing. again? Okay, watch. Yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it in slow motion. Mm -hmm. The red card went, watch. See, when I place the red card there, right? Yeah. And show you two blacks, it gives the shield a chance to 
to, to, when you're not looking, he sticks a little looking. tiny right. piece of paper. Oh, on the red card, right. Right so, on the red green. So I show you that's flat, and the red card always is the winning card, right? Yeah. At this point, I show the red card there, show black, and don't show that. What do you say is that? And the shield, bet on, he'll bet on the oh. top card. Uh -oh. This is my shield card. he's working with me. I'm in oh, and the other that. people will say no, Turn no. it over. He say here, and that, that gives her a chance to take the other card. Taking your suspicion away mm. from this card, you see? Right. And that will be the black card. Mm. That's, that's beautiful. Does anybody ever wonder how you don't notice the corner being bent? Of course, he'd use a much smaller, little bitty piece yeah. of paper, wouldn't he? I play blind. Yeah. I play blind like I can't see too well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I say, watch. The red card win, the black card lose. See? Usually I show, I say, this is A, this is B. This is a card you want to see. The red card, see? The easiest game I ever seen an object is to find the queen. I show you that's red, right? Mm -hmm. Show you that's black, and don't show you that. But I mean, not showing you that, I turn it over and say, what do you say, I said, right? Say? He probably say, the, the far one, end. The corner. Mm -hmm. But it, right, I'll do like this, that's black. <laughs> you, had, you knew it, but you blew it, that's what happened. <laughs> He knew it, but he blew it. Why? Because he jumped on the card too fast. But let me know you knew where the card was at at all times. If I know you know where it's at, I won't let you win. If I know you, you, you know where it's at. Hand on the card. Right, you reach for the card. Mm -hmm. But if you keep your finger on the card, what would you do? Right. Excuse me? If you keep your finger on the card, what would you do? Like, if this is the card and I said, hey, what, I want that card. What I could do, I, I can pay you or the shield or help me out. Right. Yeah, Sometimes you, you can coast past trouble and get on to it again. Frank, show us, uh, as one of the world's great sure. magicians, show us something that's... Uh, I'll show you something. Well, I, I propose to what we've been doing here, okay. a three-card trick. Again, we use two jacks, which are red, and the king. Now, if mm -hmm. I pick this up in this fashion, that king will always be in the center. Oh, hold that, watch on the like screen so. there so you can see. And if I remove that king and place it face down amongst the two face-up jacks and turn the whole parcel over, mm -hmm. that king is definitely in the is center. Is in the center. The black one is. Now, this is where the magic comes in, Dick. If I do this. I give the illusion that the king stretches. What? That's right. <laughs> and if I push them together and turn them over, voila, that king is back to its original size. Now, remember, there's the king. Yes. There's the jack. And the last card remaining, I can't show you the face because then you would know how this oh, whole thing is done. You see, just anyway. the three cards. That's it. certainly been an education, and I know we certainly haven't put a stop to the game, but it's been an interesting uh, thing to see. And uh, Phantom, thank you for being here, and good luck on your thank new you. career. And thank you, Frank Garcia. My pleasure. Always a and pleasure. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow, next time. Good night.